Good morning Destiny players and welcome to yet another build video. I do a lot of these, but this time we're on Warlock for just a general fun build. It's not super strong or game breaking, just fun. I am Bladeburger, your local consistency is key to ensure success kind of guy. I'm only a meter 100 away from the big 1000 for this channel, so be sure to subscribe to get a burger to the top. Burger love you long time. Now, let's get into the video. To start off, the two exotics that make this build flow, Tommy's Matchbook and Wings of Sacred Dawn. Let's talk about what they do. Tommy's Matchbook is an exotic 720 solar auto rifle. As you fire, it heats up, burning the user, aka you, but also increasing damage and dealing scorch stacks every 5 shots. It deals more damage to the user when aiming down sights, but will never kill the user, only bringing shields to empty. On the other side, the Wings of Sacred Dawn exotic chest piece allows aiming down sights while airborne to suspend you in air, giving you damage resistance, more AE, and reduced flinch. Hits with weapons while suspended extend the duration that you can float, and kills while suspended reload your solo weapons from reserves, so you can see the play pattern already. Jump, aim down sights, and unload with Tommies. There's two small issues with this build, however, and why it's not a Legend or Grandmaster build. Number A is that this exotic is ugly as hell. Sacrifice Drip for a small bit of power. Needs more ornaments. Number B is that you're a target while suspended. You can't move at all, just aiming is really all you can do. So let's build around that. For class, we're on Solar Warlock of course. Well of Radiance is a super I chose, as when a well is down, a small hop gives us the healing and damage boost so we can lay on the trigger while floating. For class ability, Phoenix Dive. Hold whatever button you have for class ability to dive to the ground, curing yourself and nearby allies. If you have Heat Rises active, it scorches nearby enemies upon landing and grants restoration to yourself. For Grenade, heal and grenade so we can recover our health quickly when we descend if Phoenix Dive isn't up. For Aspects, Heat Rises. You can shoot weapons and use abilities while Warlock jumping. You can also consume your grenade to gain the Heat Rises buff where you start floating slower. You can also heal nearby allies when you activate it, and kills while in air extend heat rises and give melee energy. We also have Icarus Dash. Do the in air button thing to dodge in one direction. When heat rises is active, you can do it twice. Woo! Use Icarus Dash to reposition when unloading with Tommies. For fragments, Ember of Searing. Defeating Scorched enemies gives melee energy and makes a fire sprite, which gives grenade energy. Ember of Ashes, you inflict more Scorch stacks, which puts Tommy from 15 to 20 stacks every 5 shots with this. Ember of Eruption, solo ignitions have a bigger explosion. Tommies can do quite a lot of Scorch, so ignitions are pretty common. Ember of Mercy for healing, when reviving an ally, you both gain restoration. Fire Sprites also now heal you. We make a ton of fire sprites, so healing is frequent after blowing our load with Tommies. For weapons and stats, try to stick with solar weapons to get the benefit of Wings of Sacred Dawn's reload. Do whatever really. For stats, I aim for 100 discipline, both for heat rises if you choose to do that, which you don't really need to, and for healing grenades. Do whatever for the rest of your stats. Probably resilience though, since you are a target. Now to the mods. This build is a surge based build. It uses temporary armor charges and time duration of buffs to gain value. Let's begin. On Helmet, we have Harmonic Siphon, allowing rapid kills with solar weapons to make an aura power. It's two kills, it says rapid, but it's two. We also have Double Harmonic Targeting, improving ADS speed and aim assist for solar weapons. On Arms, Heavy Handed, make an orb on power melee kills. We also have Double Focusing Strike, gain class ability energy when you deal damage with a melee. Phoenix Dive is important for us to heal with, so we use this mod for the cooldown of that ability, and 100 Discipline for the cooldown of our grenade. On Chest Piece, Charge Up, like I always use. Sets our max armor charges from 3 to 4, cause why not? We also have Harmonic Unflinching Aim, reducing flinch when aiming solo weapons. We also have 2 extra energy for whatever you want to run. On Boots, Recuperation for more healing. Picking up an orb gives a chunk of health. We also have Double Solar Weapon Surge, giving us 17% extra solo weapon damage as long as we have a temporary armor charge, so 10 seconds at base. With the 4 armor charges max, we will have 40 seconds at base. On class item, Bomber, where activating our class ability gives grenade energy. We also have Double Time Dilation, setting our temporary armor charge timer from 10 seconds up to 18 seconds. With the mods covered, here's the usual overview of the mods. There is also a dim link in the description if I remember to add one. I probably didn't, but hey, every day's a new day. Now let's talk synergies. This build can allow you to fire Tommies for a ridiculous amount of time, upwards of a 30 seconds to even over a minute. Longest so far when playtesting has been a minute and 13 seconds of just laying on the trigger. The double surges ensure that even beefier targets go down easily. What's nice about Wings of Sacred Dawn is that the armor cares only if your actions result in a kill while firing the weapons. 
Ignitions caused with Tommy that kill enemies around the target will still reload the weapon. I've made it a habit in Sabathun Spire to target beefier enemies on purpose so that the ignitions on the beefier targets kill chumps around said beefier enemies. Two birds with one stone. Where this build falters is the fact that you're stationary in the air while your gun hurts you. The damage resist that Wings gives is good, but not enough to be out of danger 100%. We do have Phoenix Dive, Healing Grenades, and Fire Sprites to get our health back if we do end up in a lot of danger. Being in the red isn't the end of the world though, as you can still tank a few hits while dealing a ton of Scorch with Tommies. Try this build out for yourself and see how it does, and let me know. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more, I'll see you all in the next one. Join my Discord, Blade Burger out.